Hey people, now I want to begin a series and I pray you enjoy it. Just follow me. It's going to be on different areas, relationship and leadership, but you just need to listen to this. It's going to come up in a few clips, you know, outside of this, but this will be part one. And it's on toxic charity. Robert Lipton um, had written a book on this area. I haven't. I have done a few works around this area. But toxic charity is a condition that is created by a benefactor who consistently gives to beneficiaries and, and creates a mindset by which these people continue to look up to him. And when it doesn't come, certain conditions are created. And um, everybody, you know, has grown up, or not too many people, a very high percentage of the people, especially from third world, they grow up under the condition of, you know, poverty and struggling and very hard economic realities. But at the same time, some people have given themselves out, especially where you see uh, charity organizations, um, the Oxfam, and here in in uh, my country, we have, I run a charity organization myself called Mercy Extended. And I have, you know, other ones as uh, other affiliates. And, you know, you have the CPN, you have different uh, charity organizations all around the world. The, the USAID, the Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation and all over the world. And um, unfortunately, again, in, in the Western world, most people have taken advantage of this by using the same, uh, that same to create an avenue for, you know, putting in funds and then they get that in tax rebate and all that. Okay, whatever the propriety of those ones, uh, we leave that. But then here is a situation where a benefactor is used to giving out to a person, group of persons or whatever, and ultimately it creates a mindset that flows from that. Now, it begins with your first giving. The first time you give, if you give once, generally people will appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Oh, I appreciate this and all that. That is the first time you give. If you give the second time to the same person, you create anticipation. The first time will be appreciation. The second time will be anticipation. They begin to anticipate that he's going to give more. He has given once, he has given twice, he's going to give more. In fact, if you, are, if you do not give, they are surprised. And this is where black tax comes into those who are in the diaspora. And, and, and I know you will see people around you um, that you have given to before, and all of a sudden it's Christmas time, you are, they've not heard from you, and they're calling you and they said, uh, where's my Christmas gift? You know, uh, there were people that I gave uh, money to, just, just something that could feed their family for, uh, their families for, say, you know, during this Christmas. And I gave them this money, you know, at great price to me, great price to me. Uh, it was sacrificial. And I sent money to these people just a week ago. And such people now, because I've, I've been used to supporting at different times, I've now created anticipation. And they are calling me, what about my Christmas? If one of them asks me, what? I'm expecting my Christmas bonus. Uh, this one says my Christmas gifts. Because the first time it was appreciation. But you give the second time, you create expectation. And then when you give three times, then you create, you know, the other one is anticipation. This one is expectation that we are expecting it. What took it so long? And that's the reason you send money to someone that has asked you for favor, favors once, twice, the third time. You, you need to even call to say, did you get the money? Did you get the money I sent to you? Oh, oh, the 10,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, the 5,000. Yeah. Because at this point, you've been used to giving him. He has moved from appreciation to anticipation. From anticipation is now expectation. You create expectation that I expect it to come. If you give him the fourth time, it becomes entitlement. You're just giving them something, and then they will call. It's not a week. It's not five days. And they say, look, oh, my mother is sick. Oh, this one is happening. Oh, my sister is sick. Oh, that is happening. 
Uh, I remember recently I was told a story where, uh, you know, my wife never met this person, but saw them online. They were having this, so she packed clothes and everything, loaded him, paid her way through, sent driver, go give this, deliver that, and they delivered it. And in three days, is that three or the, two days after that, the lady was calling and said, please, mommy, my my son didn't have an auto this law. So talk to other people, let them gather more clothes for me so that my son will have. And by the way, we have no food to eat tonight. She hasn't been, even says, thank you for yesterday. Not even thank you for two days ago. That is not important because at this point now, there is a sense of entitlement. A sense of entitlement. You should have known. You should feel guilty for having and I do not have. You, you, you are rich and I'm poor. And God made you rich for all of us. Why will you not send something to me? And then you create entitlement. And that's the reason you see that every day on the social media, how a boyfriend or a fiancé or somebody had bought a car and the lady will say, I'm setting it on fire or something. They say, well, how dare you give me this little car? You should have bought a very big car. You should have bought a Mercedes. You should have bought a 30 million uh, Naira car. Why are you giving me only, only cars of 3 million, 4 million? They're never going to be appreciated because you have created a sense of entitlement. And then if you give five times, then you create, you've established dependency. This person now depends on you. My family depends on you. My mother is sick. My sister is sick. Uh, my brother is this. And I'm having that. But you have not been married this lady. And you have to do all that for her. And then the result of it is that they are totally dependent on you. And if you don't do anything about that, then they threaten you, they do that, you train them in school. What their fathers, what their parents couldn't do for them, you do it, and then you get a black eye for it. That's dependence. And the sixth one is, if you stop giving altogether, it will create resentment. It will turn to resentment. Well, I don't know if this has spoken to you, but I just want to, this is a series, and I, I hope I'm able to say a few more things to you. God bless you.